of St. Pete Beach is considering allowing golf carts on their city streets. As our Brad Davis reports, not everybody likes that idea. I think this is a perfect community for them to try it in. Although there's no golf course in the city of St. Pete Beach, golf carts could be showing up on their streets in the near future. We've long had interest in parts of our community, particularly the South End, uh, Paso Grill and Vina Del Mar, for golf carts. An ordinance allowing golf carts on city streets will be voted on by city commissioners next week. I think it fits into the beachy atmosphere that we have here. You don't always want to walk everywhere or get on your bike and it would be great to be able to jump in the golf cart and just tool around and have fun and enjoy Paso Grill without using gas in your car all the time. The carts, unless classified as street legal with lights, turn signals and seat belts, would be limited to city streets where the speed limit is 25 miles an hour or less. That means Gulf Boulevard and Blind Pass Road would be off limits. The city will also apply to the DOT for three permitted crossing areas within the city. Two of them are along Gulf Boulevard. I'm against it and simply for practical reasons. I city Commissioner like Jim Parent it. says that with Gulf Boulevard in the equation, the risk is just too great. The possibility of problems to me outweighs the benefit. Some residents feel that golf carts aren't a good fit for this beach community. I think they're inherently dangerous. I think that there's a place for them, but I don't think there's a place on public roads where everyone from all over the world comes and visits. In St. Pete Beach, Brad Davis, ABC Action News.